although I enjoy the idea of progress, I also want to discuss why progress and, and disruption has perhaps slowed. And in my background, which is medicine and like medical data and whatnot, like essentially the reason is because you can't torture human beings anymore and you used to be able to do that. And that really slung shot, slingshotted, slung shot, slingshot. I think slingshot, I don't know if slung. Yeah, no, it's slingshotted. It's slingshotted. Kind of slingshotted, it has to be, right? Because slung does not sound like a word in and of itself. The verb there, yeah, the verb is to slingshot. slingshot. It's not to I, slung. Yeah. So, yeah, torturing slaves slingshotted ob into what it is now, the father of obstetrics and gynecology, performed a bunch of shit on slaves. Were they consenting? My guess no. is no. They're Did slaves. They, you can't, no. Yes. No. <laughs> right. So, but these things, like, it, it, one of the most important scientific moments in world history because it changed our ability to protect newborn babies and like the survivability of the mother and that's how a, a population of species propagates however it was on the backs of of slaves and as a result of that we're like well now we can't do stuff like that which no one is arguing that we should be able to ever not yeah, we, at all yeah we would never we would never no. advocate for deliberately choosing to forego even mm -hmm. the most basic ethical and so like that's you're pointing out like progress in one area, which is to say basic progress in like human morality and, and the application of ethics to like real world applications that has generated kind of a standstill uh, in some of the, in some of the things like, it's not a trade-off that any reasonable person would ever make. And we would never right. advocate for that. Yeah, never. Uh, let me, let me give you another example. Yeah. It's, it's not just in medicine, you know, like, like the horrific experiments of the Nazi sciences, right. scientists have shown us like the limitations of the human body. Uh, another grotesque world war two era fact that still informs a lot of our approach today to an area of health uh, called health physics is the effects of nuclear weapons on survivors of Ugh. the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Yeah, no question. It's, it's shocking. I mean, so health, health physics is its own distinct field and has to do with how much, how radiation interacts with the human body. I mean, the different types of radiation, like the gamma rays and their specific energies and the, the beta rays and the alpha particles and the neutrons, they interact with the human body in generally damaging ways. But it's really complex because there are so many chemical equations and so many chemical processes that could happen when radiation affects the cells in the body. There are so many different types of radiation and their interactions right. with different materials are, are not super well understood uh, outside of the, or inside the human body. Uh, the, but you can't just irradiate people for the purpose of science. I mean, that's right. unethical, even if a person gives consent. So we have to rely on existing data that we have. And most of it comes from like industrial or like lab based accidents or in much larger part, uh, the degree to which people suffered acute radiation or contamination in the aftermath of the bombings in, in Japan.